Yes. <laughs> For some reason, my my computer seems to be stuck. <laughs> you ever get that blue screen where you you're really upset that it's not working the way that you the way that you want it to? Yes. Now, I was looking uh, in this uh, dictionary for the word seat, yep. and it doesn't have it here. No, <laughs> I just want to know where you sit every day, Poop. what's underneath the chair that you sit on. <laughs> uh, they have what's known as scripture, yes, any writing, particularly that of a sacred nature, hence scripture, the Bible. <laughs> Also, scriptures, holy scriptures, and holy scripture, mm -hmm, or holy scripture, and holy scriptures. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just start in Mark twelve ten, and uh, this, you know, these computers they don't always work when you want them to. Yeah. Now, for all of those that do read some sort of holy scripture, <laughs> for all the Christians, the Jews, the Muslims, the Islamics, and any other person that has one of these books that you read thinking it's your religion <laughs> the whole thought that you have to identify yourself to be able to exempt your child from the requirements of the state for vaccination and i know all the academics are absolutely sure that every disease that we have today is exactly like it was a hundred years ago why don't you use the 66 cases of measles to look at exactly if there might be a new communicable disease that needs to be reported to the CDC? Yes. And before we start changing vaccination, <coughs> why don't we really consider, is there anything different today Yes. than 100 years ago? Poop. Now, I'd be concerned that when you start changing laws where educated American citizens cannot make the decisions for their children, <clears throat> because in your mind, well, every disease that we have a vaccination for is the same as it was at the time that we developed the vaccination, <laughs> my concern as a parent is that you just really aren't... Well, let's look at all the cases. Mm -hmm. And then let's look at the measles that existed before the vaccination. And then let's look at today's measles. Oh, is there anything different? Now, um, let's see here. Uh huh. Uh, what was it again? Matthew 12, 10. Yes. With the Sabbath, I'm not accusing. No, there's a guy with a withered hand in here. <laughs> By one that was possessed with the devil, Ooch, blind and dumb. <laughs> Verse 22, <laughs> that would be a time. <laughs> Let's say you're the parent of a devil possessed, blind and dumb child, and you say you have the measles. Now, <laughs> and the child's blind. He's like, I can't see anything. <laughs> and he's dumb. <laughs> he's mentally disabled. You have measles. No. <laughs> and he's demon possessed. So the demon starts talking through him. <laughs> 